Jerry's about the morning show. It is six minutes after the hour, y'all. Listen, man, Gary is taking the day off, but today, do not worry, man. We got you. So this morning show is throwing a tea party so we can talk about all of the mess that's brewing. Now, if you follow me on social media, you have seen Torn to Dawn uh, with our weekly morning show recaps, and he, and, and he often is the first one to post when news hit the streets. So I had to invite him to pour a tea with us this morning. Uh, welcome to the tea party, Torn to Dawn. Torn to Dawn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know Twan, uh, Twan works for the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Uh, uh, so Twan, you know, we kind of been waiting on the return of Wendy Williams, yeah. uh, you know, for her to come back to the show. But I hear that it may be a lot longer than we hoped. So what's going on? Well, how you doing? It's not looking really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, come on, Jack. How you doing? Word on the street is Wendy is confined to a wheelchair. According she what? To, she's confined to a wheelchair. Yeah, it's sad. Oh, According to reports, really? she has lost all blood circulation in her legs and in her feet, and she's oh. in this wheelchair. And they say her the the return to the show is not looking good right now. So we gotta pray for Wendy. We know she oh. she's been uh, battling with addiction, alcoholism, all that good stuff. And it's also being reported oh. that Wendy is now suffering from the early stages of dementia. So wow, this is sad. Uh, uh, yeah, that's what really? they say. We got. She's just in her mid fifties, right? Fifty-seven years old. Fifty-seven. So, oh, yeah, yeah, all of that stuff, man. What her husband took her through, and and just all that. Yes, different, sir. Just lost different her mom. Stuff, man. Yes, all kinds lost, of stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. she's really going through it. Her yeah. brother was uh, actually speaking with blogger Tasha K, and all of this news came out. So let's definitely keep Wendy in our thoughts and our prayers. Wow. Mm. Wow. Well, you know mm. what, um, Twan? I hear that uh, Sheree Whitfield is back on Real Housewives of Atlanta mm-hmm. now, and they just started filming. Now, how did this lady already lose her boyfriend over the show? Now, what happened? Well, they say huh? this was her entire storyline. She was put, Well, she's dating a dude named Tyrone Gillums. He just got out of prison. He was serving a 10-year sentence. They let him out early because of COVID. She was in mm-hmm. New York, and she was supposed to be meeting with him for lunch. Now, according to sources... Tyrone stood her up. Now we all know that he's confined to the he's he's on home confinement. He's not supposed to be out. And Sheree right. allegedly is trying to set the man up, and he's afraid that if he ends up on the show, he'll be back in prison. So that's yes, how you do violation. That. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So that she's looking all sad on the internet. Be. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know how that works. I've never been to jail, but they say a few people on the show have, so Twan. I don't know how that works. <laughs> Twan. Wow. How you, how you special have a really, uh, really, Twan? Oh, no, not you, Brad. I'm sorry. I was talking to Special Cut. <laughs> don't do that, Twan. <laughs> I have PTSD. Gary been there don't too. do that. Yeah. <laughs> we all had a little okay, visit Twan. or two, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Brad, at least this morning show got street cred, right? Okay. We definitely, got that. Yeah, we definitely can come out with that one. Everybody, everybody on here did time. I ain't do as much as y'all, but I, I feel you though. <laughs> but you a gunshot victim, yeah, so you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We all been in it some kind of way. Street Craig. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Ooh, Twan. Lord. So I need you to help me unpack something really fast. Now I know we talked about Danny Lay and the baby and all their drama last week, but yesterday hmm. I saw her getting super dragged for something else on the Instagrams and internet. What exactly happened? It's her bounce for me. I'm just saying she was actually speaking Ooh. with a girl named Blue from Hollywood Unlocked. They were on a Latina. Uh, what do you call it? Like a, they were doing a press conference and right. they were doing a mic. Okay. They were testing their mics and she says backstage that Danny just opened up, was very candid with her and said she's in love with black men and black music, but she does not consider herself black. And she also said that because of that, black women are jealous of her. Uh, what? Hold on, yeah, wait. She isn't said, she isn't she Dominican? She is, but she does not identify with black, which makes me concerned because on that she live, she was throwing that N word left and right. So I'm just mm. saying in, in other news and other the baby and Danny Lay news, her brother says that he's ready to fight the baby. So I bet we gotta pray for, we gotta pray for the brother because we know about the baby. Allegedly. Baby got hands. Uh and baby weapons. Got hands and feet. And weapons right, yes. too. So we got uh, hey, hey, uh, hey, uh, real real quick, uh any anything on uh the murder of young Dolph? Uh anything oh, else being reported? There's a lot happening with that. Uh they just discovered the car that was used mm. in in the murder and apparently someone got shot at the same house they found the car at so mm. but oh, low key wow. Ricky Smiley is all over this story y'all think I be reporting the news I get yeah, it from Ricky yeah, yeah he straight, is the internet yeah straight I got I got connection with the uh, with the MPD see so I, I make mm. one phone call so I got a lot of stuff that I, that I know stuff that I can't even talk about you know just, mm. I just no, be sitting right. around listening and yeah, say, they, they listen to the show but that's crazy so alright y'all and that's a wrap for our tea party this morning uh, Twan thank you for helping us out man yes. 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 Yes.
So everybody, man, everybody, if you want breaking news, uh, uh, and he have it, I don't know how you got all your sources, your ears to the ground. <laughs> Let everybody know how they can follow you. I'm my party's on Facebook. Just go to Facebook and search Twan Three Sixty or Antoine Edwards. Yes, so what, what, one more time. Twan Three Sixty or Antoine Edwards on Facebook. There it is, y'all. Mm-hmm. Hey, and, and my Twan spelled different. It's T O I N E. Get it right. T O I N E. Twan spelled different. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, I got your wake-up calls coming up next, man. Hit us up, 866-9-RICKY, 866-9-R-I-C-K-E-Y, Ricky Smiley Morning Show.